been out there for a long, long time uh, doing something pretty terrific. He is himself a man of boundless energy, impressing for the activism essential for building a more progressive society and a cleaner and more humane world. We represent the voices of ordinary people. I grew up in a, in a union household where my dad uh, made very little money and uh, when uh, he needed uh, drill bits for the mine or he needed what they called oilers, which is the rubber where you, you work underground, they took it off his paycheck. There's polls that are done that if workers were allowed to choose freely to join a union, almost 60% of them would today join a union. The reason the opposition is so great is because it, what we see by the lack of unionization is workers haven't been able to get their share of the wealth that they've been creating in our society. Workers organize workers. Workers get together and they decide they want a union. That's who organizes the union most of the time. The organizer is the facilitator. And our job is to create the environment where they have the facts and they have the knowledge and they make an honest decision that they want a union. And once that's been done, what is, it, what is a greater vote than putting my name on a card? Signing my name and saying, I want this union. Our union held its first conference on what was then called pollution abatement in the middle 60s. Our union led the fight to reduce coke oven emissions. Our union led the fight to remove lead from the workplaces and fight for a lead standard in the 60s and 70s. We fought for a benzene standard. We joined the fight for the banning of asbestos and the elimination from our workplaces. We fought to remove acid rain in my hometown, which was the largest single polluter in North America. For all my years growing up, the mining company would say, well, you, you gotta have a choice between these good jobs and a little bit of pollution. The reality is we didn't have to have the choice. We're either gonna have both a clean environment and good jobs, or in the long run, we'll have neither.